In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Samsung Galaxy Watch 7 with a non-Samsung Android phone. Now, if you have a Samsung phone, I've already done the setup video with a Samsung phone, so I highly recommend going checking it out. I'll link that in the description below. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get started here. So the first step is you need to turn on your watch. And the way to do that is you need to find the button that has the orange outline and then go ahead and press and hold on it for a few seconds until the Samsung logo appears. So I'm going to press and hold. I'm still holding. I felt a little vibration. I saw the logo so I can let go. Now I'm going to set this to the side here for a moment while it goes through its little startup process. And I'm going to go back to my phone. And you want to find the Google Play Store. Now the icon looks like this and it's called Play Store. If you don't have it on your home screen, you can swipe up to reveal all of your apps and swipe again until you find Play Store in the list. Now, if you don't see it in the list, you can go to your search bar here and you can type in play and you can see that it pops up here. And just so you know, on the watch, we saw a little welcome screen. It does say it's a Galaxy Watch 7 and it says you'll see a pop up on your phone to help you connect. If you don't see it, try connecting in your phone's Galaxy wearable app or Bluetooth settings. Uh, you can also tap on any of these to change language, change accessibility settings or get some additional help. Now, I don't see a pop-up, so we're gonna go ahead and continue. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on Play Store. And up here is the search bar, and I'm gonna tap there, and I'm gonna type in Galaxy Wearable. And it looks like it already found it, so I'll just save some time, and I'll tap here on Galaxy Wearable app. So if you click on this icon, um, you can see that this is the Samsung Electronics app. You definitely want to see one that has over 5 million downloads and it currently has uh, 1 million reviews. So this is definitely the one to install. So go ahead and tap install. All right, so now we can go ahead and tap open. All right, so on the screen, you can tap Start. And it says, allow Galaxy Wearable to find, connect to, and determine the relative position of nearby devices. So this is required for your phone to connect to your watch. So go ahead and tap Allow. And now we can allow Galaxy Wearable to make and manage phone calls. So this is if you want to make phone calls or receive phone calls from your watch. If you want to allow that, you can tap allow. If you don't want to allow that, you can tap don't allow. You can also change these settings in the future. So go ahead and make your initial choice here. I'm gonna go ahead and tap allow. And it says it's scanning for devices to add. And it does say Galaxy Watch 7 is under my available devices list. I'm gonna go ahead and double tap here on the screen though, just so you can see that this four digit alphanumeric code does indeed match. So this is nice in case you have two Galaxy Watch 7s in your household, you can just make sure it's the right one that you're pairing to your phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap here on Galaxy Watch 7. All right, so now it's saying check the number on your watch. And we wanna make sure that these two numbers do match. And you should be hearing some vibration here on your watch, that is normal. If you don't hear that, you might have a defective vibration motor and I would highly recommend exchanging for a new watch. But anyway, go ahead and tap the blue check mark here on your watch and then choose whether to enable or disable this access to contacts and call history. The information will be used for call announcements and more. So if you wanna have call announcements with the caller on, go ahead and enable that. And it looks like it had a little problem, so I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly do that all again. I probably was talking a little bit too long, so I'm gonna hit the check mark, enable, and now I'm gonna tap pair. All right, so now it's uh, check your phone to complete setup. It's downloading the software, and it says install Galaxy Watch 7 Manager. The software is used to control your watch with the Galaxy Wearable app, so just go ahead and tap OK. And so this is what it is for a non-Samsung phone. You need to download another plugin called Galaxy Watch 7 plugin. So go ahead and tap install. And once it gets to 100%, I'll tell you what to do next. 
All right, so it's uh, installed now. And this is where it's a little tricky on the non-Samsung phones. It doesn't tell you what to do next, but essentially you need to go back to the Galaxy Wearable app. So you can do this by swiping from the very bottom of your phone's display and just swipe a little bit until you see all of your open apps. And then you can swipe to the right and you should see that Wear logo. And then you can go ahead and tap on that. All right, so now it's finishing downloading the software. And now we need to sign into a Samsung account. So if you want to have full features of your Samsung smartwatch, you do need to sign into a Samsung account. If you'd rather not do that right now, you can go ahead and tap skip. Um, otherwise, you can go ahead and tap sign in. So for me, it has found a Samsung account that I would like to associate with my watch. For you, it may say create account if you don't already have one. So you may need to go through the steps of creating a account with an email and a password. So go ahead and do all of that. Uh, for me, I'm gonna go ahead and tap continue. And for some reason here at launch, uh, I found that you do need to tap this continue again, and then it will move on to the next step. So. So now we need to review Samsung's terms and conditions, the Galaxy Wearable privacy notice, and optionally agree to sending of diagnostic data, and agreeing to automatic updates for the Galaxy Wearable and related manager apps. So if you want to agree to all these, you can actually just press once. If you don't want to agree to something, you can just uh, click on the check mark and it will go away. If you want to read anything else, you can tap here on details and then scroll and read as you would like. Once you're done, you can tap here on this little back arrow. So go ahead and make your selections here and then tap continue. All right, so now it's saying allow the app Galaxy Watch 7 Manager to access Galaxy Watch 7. Um, so this app will be allowed to sync info like the name of someone calling and access these permissions on your phone. So as you can see, if you want to use any of these features, including calendar, um, texting, sending and viewing, SMS messages, things like that, you will need to tap allow. So I highly recommend going ahead and pressing allow. And now it says allow Galaxy Watch 7 Manager to send you notifications. So you will need to tap allow here as this is required. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap allow. And for some reason, again, it looks like we need to tap continue another time. All right, so it says getting ready to connect. This might take a few minutes. All right, now it says getting Google account info. This might also take a few minutes. All right, so now it says sign into your Google account and hopefully it found your account. If you want to use a different account, you can tap choose another account. Otherwise, go ahead and tap continue. And it looks like I need to uh, touch the fingerprint sensor to verify. And now it says signing in. This could take about a minute. All right, so now I have some Google terms of service to agree to. So you have usage and diagnostic reports you can optionally uh, agree to. If you don't want to agree to that, you can just tap to uncheck. And location, I highly recommend leaving checked if you want to use GPS during outdoor workouts or if you're interested in seeing weather on your watch or anything else you know might need your location. Um, if you turn this off and you need it in the future, it will just ask you to turn it on in the settings later. So it's no big deal if you don't turn it on now, if you don't feel comfortable at the moment. I'm gonna go ahead and enable it and then tap I agree. All right, so here it's uh, talking about adding apps for your watch. This is something I like to do later when I'm customizing my watch. If you want to, you can go ahead and do this. It will take a little longer to download and install those apps on your watch at the moment. But I'll, I'm gonna go ahead and unselect all of these and just say skip. All right, so now we have automatic watch backup. Your watch data and files will be backed up periodically when your phone has Wi-Fi turned on and is connected to your watch. Backups make it easier to set up a new watch or restore your watch after resetting. We use Smart Switch to save these backups to your phone. All right, so let's go ahead and tap next. All right, so again, when you have a non-Samsung Android phone, you have to download another app. This is called the Samsung Smart Switch Mobile. It is official app by Samsung, has 500 million plus downloads. And if you are interested in doing this, which is probably recommended to back up your 
uh, watch. You probably do the same thing with your phone. In case you get a new phone, you can transfer the same settings instead of having to start from new. So if that's something you're interested in, you can go ahead and tap install. All right, so for right now, uh, we're gonna do the same as before. We're gonna go back to the Galaxy wearable app and see what it asks us to do next. So I'm going to swipe from the bottom of my phone just a little bit until I see that other uh, image come there. Now I'm gonna swipe from left to right and I'm gonna go back to the Galaxy wearable app. All right, so it says Samsung Smart Switch. Um, you can transfer your data to a new, it says phone or tablet, but really it's supposed to be for the watch and you can back up and restore your data. So if you wanna allow this, you can tap allow. If you'd rather not allow it right now, you could also tap deny. I'm gonna go ahead and say allow. And it's telling you which permissions this app does need. And if you're okay with that, you can go ahead and tap continue. If you are not okay with it, um, you can't use it. So I'll go ahead and tap continue. Um, it says access your calendar, yes or no. I'm just gonna allow all these because it's pretty much required if you want to back up all of these things. Um, you know, if you want your photos and videos uh, backed up, you can do that. I'm just gonna say allow all, allow. Okay, so to use Smart Switch, you need to turn on usage data access for Smart Switch in settings. So let's go ahead and go settings. And it looks like we just need to toggle this on. So we're gonna tap here to permit usage access. Okay, now I think I can just tap the back arrow here. Okay, and it looks like it may not know that I already did that. So I guess I'm gonna say cancel now. Hmm. And it looks like it may have taken me out of that. So if that's the case for you, it probably will just set up another time. Let me see. If I open up Samsung Smart Switch app, okay, so we can probably just go back here, tap continue. Okay, so now to transfer images, medias, and files, go to settings and allow Smart Switch to access all files. So there's a lot in here compared to if you have a Samsung phone, you have to manually agree to all these file accesses. Oh, okay, I see. So each time is something different. I guess I didn't notice that. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap settings again and allow this thing. Okay, so now it looks like the smart switch is set up. And, oh, we're still, all right. So I'm gonna make it back to the Galaxy wearable app. So let's go ahead and continue on here. So we can set our wearing preferences. So you can choose your wrist and button position. And I'll show you what this changes here. So let's say you wanna do the right wrist and it's kinda nice to show here on the watch, it's right wrist and button position on the right of the screen. Let's say you want it on the left of the screen. Now let's see what happens. Ah, so the display here flipped. So the idea is if you wanna wear it in this position, your display will need to be flipped. So this basically just helps Samsung know which orientation your display should be. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my selections as these. You make your selections as you prefer, and then you can go ahead and tap next. All right, so now it's talking about you can create custom workout routines. Um, you can tap here to create a workout routine now, or you can go ahead and just tap next and do that later if you would like. You can also check your body's battery level. Now what these are is it's just going through some of the newest features of the new Galaxy Watch. So it's don't really need to do anything except for tap next here. And again, we can just tap next, know that we are sleep tracking on this watch. And double pinch is also a new feature. You can pinch twice to answer calls, dismiss alerts, or play or pause music, or take a photo when the camera app is open. So tap next. You can also get help in an emergency by pressing the home button five times to call emergency services. You can also turn on hard fall detection to automatically call emergency services if you have a hard fall. All right, so now it says finishing up. This might take a few minutes. And if it takes too long, go ahead and tap on the tips and user guide if you're bored while waiting, but it looks like it went pretty quick there. And now it says you're all set on both my phone and my watch. And now it says my Galaxy Watch 7 is connected to my phone. It looks like it came with 56% battery. And over here on the Watch 7 screen, it says that it is starting up. 
So we will wait for it to finish. All right, so our watch is ready to go and it says you can take a tour of your watch. Um, you can do that by tapping start. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on skip. And it says don't miss a thing. The orange dot indicates new notifications. You can swipe from left to right and that'll go away. And yeah, so now your watch is connected to your phone and you can do things like pulling down from the top to access your quick panel and quick settings. You can swipe up from the bottom to access your apps and it says to reorder apps. You can touch and hold then drag an app icon, okay. You can swipe up to see all of them. Um, you can swipe from right to left to get to your tiles and you can swipe, you can use this button to go back to the home clock face and you can swipe from left to right to access your notifications. So here it says get more tips and review the manual and to dismiss a notification you can just swipe up. So that was a little quick overview of the uh, tour of the Galaxy Watch 7. You can also press and hold to customize and change and add new watch faces. And if you have any other questions about your Galaxy Watch 7, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, if you found this video helpful, could you please give it a thumbs up down below and consider subscribing if you want to see more Galaxy Watch 7 videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.